Hello my friends, Miss Argarn here, and today we're going to do a Let's Paint of Leia from Star Wars. And I'm gonna go with her Princess Leia age form, as in the younger royalty years before she became a general. So classic Leia. And if you're following along, I have my document size is 12 by 18 at 300 pixels per inch, and I'm just starting off with a round brush. I'm 66% hard, 25 size, opacity 68, <laughs> all that good stuff. Okay, so logically we will start with the sketch. I'm gonna draw a circle to represent her cranium, maybe move it over a little bit. It's a good idea compositionally wise to have where they're looking have more space <laughs> than where the back of their head is. So I'm thinking if she's gonna be looking here, I'm just gonna move that back a little bit because of that reasoning. Then I'm gonna draw a middle face guideline. Yeah, that'll be about where her eyes are. And her face shape would be something like, this will be the top of her eyebrow, this kind of a cranium brow line there, and then it goes back a little bit where the eye socket is and then it comes back out a little bit where the cheekbone is and then it goes down and we don't have to get this perfectly shaped to maybe where the chin is. Uh, we're just trying to get a general face shape in. It's good to put something down, visualize it, and then make changes to what doesn't look right. So like right there I think her chin looked a little weird. I'm not gonna fuss too much over it but I'm gonna fix it a little bit so it's more like that. And I think even though I drew my original line here for for the middle of the face. I'm probably gonna actually do this more like there. I think that lines up a little bit nicer and her eye line. I do my eye line just right above where the eyes are. So that's hopefully not too confusing. Okay, so then her eyes would be about here. We'll have this eye here about an eye length apart, although there is some deal with foreshortening. So I'm gonna put the other one just here, just put the tops of them in so I can kind of picture where they're gonna be. It'll be interrupted by the nose line here, which I'll just place in a bit. Her nose will be coming all the way out to the edge of her cheek here. Let's get this at a good angle. This goes in a little bit, little tiny bit of a pixie nose kind of thing. And then it sits here and she's got a very rounded um, bottom <laughs> of the nose tip, maybe is what you call it. And then her nose would go here. So then her nostril would be about here. Just placing this in to get a good idea. Something like that. And then you come down here, her, it might be like a lip line that would come out a little bit here. And then her mouth would be right under her nose like so. So I'm gonna put that mouth mouth line in like that. And then I'm going to just kind of keep erasing the guides that are in my way as I sketch and maybe move this. Uh, I don't want to give her a uh, frown. So I'll give her a serious look maybe, but not a frown. So maybe adjust that and we'll get those lips in so her mouth might be here a little bit of the Dip of the lip will be right here So you'll just see a little bit of an arch there and then it'll go up and then uh, fit into the corner of her mouth From here we have the bottom of the lip come out starting out here. It'll come down like that we can tweak that a bit <laughs> in the future. She has a little bit of a pointy chin. It sticks out just a touch there like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna resize it while we're at this stage. I'm gonna hit Command or Control T if you're using Windows. And I'm just gonna fill her out a little bit more. Yeah, we'll just make her nice and big. She'll, she'll be very prominent. Uh, in fact, we'll, we'll go up a little bit. And then we'll put her neck lines in. So this one would go behind the head, meets up with the head, I should say. And then this one goes here, uh, her shoulder Shoulder would be down here somewhere. I'll just kind of loosely place it in. The other one would be going off camera. I'm actually going to move her over just a touch because I want to do those classic buns and I want them to be a little bit visible. Her ear, I'm just going to barely place it in because it's actually going to be covered by her hair, but I do want to know where the placement is. It'd be somewhere like that and then her hairline would be like that. With the bun look, she has it parted down the middle. So I'm going to kind of distinguish that a little bit. Just kind of mark that in here and here. I know we have to go back and detail her face, but I just want to get everything kind of placed in a bit here. Actually, since this is so far over the angle, the part line might be about here. It might be going in like that. And then over here, it would go down and there'd be like another bun over on this side, sticking out just a bit. And then this bun, of course, would be coming over and it'd overlap everywhere, but the very bottom of her ear. Let's fix that a little bit, make it a little more parallel. So let's finish detailing her out a little bit here. Let's get her eyes a little bit more shaped so since she's looking off her eye corner is going to be coming in like that and then meeting up here the top layer of her eye might stick out a bit like that and then there'd be a crease above here and then her actual eye would be looking this way so like that we might have a little bit of a wonky eye here so i'm going to go ahead and move it out just a touch 
get it looking more or less what I think looks right. And then that was the top of this other eye, and then her eyelash will be coming out a little bit like that, and the bottom of it will look a bit like that, and then the eye <laughs> will be looking over like so. I think her nose sticks up a little bit too much there, so I'm going to move that down, move this over. This eye maybe needs to come down just a touch as well, so I'm going to move it like so. Make some adjustments to how I think it should look. Let's add the eyebrows in, so we'll go ahead and pop those in, and then this one will be arching out at the cranium brow line and her lips just need a little tweak <laughs> they need to go in this way just a little touch over the nose area there her sideburn would be about here maybe should get like a curl or something uh, we can work on that later and then back here there'd be hair sticking out so we might extend that down and we'll go ahead and give her a white collar just something like that you could add a few wrinkles down here maybe I think this face angle is a little bit off I'm just gonna select it here and I'm gonna command T and move it in a bit like that and I actually want this to come out a little bit more and what I'm gonna use for that is the liquify so I'm gonna go to liquify and you can see it's just this layer we lose our background white to make it more visible I am on this forward warp tool and I'm just gonna move this down like this move this up make a few little tweaks so we're gonna hit okay I'm going to move move her whole head just back a little bit like that move her eye down like so I think I like that angle a little bit better this hairline is very low I'm gonna select that area move it up a bit give her forehead a little bit more breathing room curve the hair down a bit but we want that forehead a little bit higher up so I'm going into that liquify tool and I'm just gonna move it down everything down a bit let's take a look at that see if we like that better I might move it out so like that okay let's go with that <laughs> so I'm gonna make a new layer I'm gonna call it color I'm gonna go to my background layer and change it from white to something else. I don't think it's good to have your background be pure white or pure black unless when it's finished it's gonna be those colors. Uh, I usually pick like a more mid-tone color of some sort. So yeah, why not this kind of dull green? <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. I'll hit okay. Uh, since I'm worried the sketch isn't showing up well, uh, I'll darken it. <laughs> and I'm going back to this color layer now. So my technique, I usually leave the sketch layer on top and then I'm gonna just put in basically very flat colors because I work in a clipping mask. I just wanna fill this area in. So let's pick skin tone for her to begin with. Maybe something like that, except I'm going to actually turn my opacity all the way up. <laughs> So maybe that's a little bit too uh, saturated. Let's try that, that's a little better. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill in every little area of skin with, and even, you know, you can go over like that's her hair, but I just wanna make sure that ear is covered, so I'm putting that in. So I'm just gonna fill in all the skin areas with this color, and I'll meet you back in a minute when I'm done. If you're having a hard time seeing where to do the coloring, you can turn your opacity down a bit. Maybe I'll do that. Um, so you can see a little bit better or so I can see a little bit better <laughs> So we can all see a little bit better. I've colored in all of her face area here more or less and The next one we're gonna do is her hair. We're just gonna block in the three basic colors hair skin and clothes So uh, for her hair, it's brown. I don't want to pick super uh, Yeah, I'll just pick this kind of neutral brown <laughs> and I'm not gonna be too picky about getting it all the way out to the edges Because I usually do a layer on top where I define the hair a little bit better, but I still think it's good to have it blocked in. Uh, let's do this behind the layer. So I'm just gonna make a new layer real quick. I'm gonna call it the same color. So it's right behind this. So now I can mark here without it going over there and I can get these lines in without painstakingly going in. <laughs> and then you can merge that if you want. <laughs> okay, and then the last one, we're gonna do white, but of course uh, I don't want like pure white. So I'm gonna choose sort of a yellowish white for the blocking. That'll be good. And that what that does is it gives you highlight options later. So I don't wanna go white, white. I want a ability to change it later all right so we have that all blocked in oh there's one thing I forgot the uh, I will do the we'll, we'll do this trick again one more time so behind that layer I'll pick color and I want to add a little bit of like frayed uh, hair at the back there and I know we haven't done our eyebrows we'll do that on the hair layer in just a sec now what I like to do is a clipping mask so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on I'm gonna make sure I'm on this color layer I'm gonna right click it and then I'm going to select duplicate layer and even though it doesn't have the shortcut command here I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay for a copy and even though it doesn't have the shortcut command there um, the actual shortcut command is command J or control 
J likely if you're using a uh, Windows. And then I go to create clipping mask. I right click it and go to cl create clipping mask. And the shortcut for that is to hold down the option key. And then you'll have that little symbol will appear and you just click it and it makes it a clicking uh, clipping mask. And I'm sorry, I don't know what the equivalent for Windows is. Uh, you might just have to hold down the keys until you find that. You have to hold it right above the edge of that bottom layer box. So like if I hold it up here, you see there's a little pointer finger. And if I just hold it a little bit lower, then that pops up. <laughs> All right, so now because we have this clipping mask, we are free to mark on this without it going outside of where we've put that pigment down. So we don't have to worry about constantly having fuzzies <laughs> outside. Uh, it's just my personal preference to do that. Let's go ahead and block in the shading. So I'm going to pick kind of a, I want it to be a little bit saturated because if it's not saturated, everything just turns out kind of a dull gray brown. So I want to push into this saturated area. I'll pick kind of an orange and we'll knock our opacity down to about between 20 and 25%. So that's the color. And I'm going to turn my hardness down to maybe between 15 and 20. So I guess I went with 18 there and we're gonna go ahead and just block in some colors and I know that this is gonna go over the hairline this is gonna be just very basic blocked in colors so there'll be a shadow area on her cheek here under her chin here we'll have quite a bit of shadowing and back here in this area under her nose will be quite a bit of shadowing so I'm just literally blocking it in and I think uh, I'm of the, the mind to have mine look a little bit messy if you like yours looking really airbrushed clean you'll probably have to do a lot of blending afterwards <laughs> but uh, I don't know I kind of like this style where it's a little bit messy in the end so yeah I'm doing a big big shadow here in the corner of her eye and there'd be one under not under well under as well I guess <laughs> and over it what happens is the way the eye sits in there's kind of like a dark shadow here and then like a highlight area here so we'll get those <laughs> in, in in a little bit I mean you can add a little highlight there if you want but yeah that's the general idea back here in this chin area is going to have quite a shadow distinguishing that the light is not hitting as much down there this area here this is the sunken part of your cheeks so we'd have some shadows in that area we'd have some under the nose like we did here and then this side of the face or the li upper lips and stuff would have quite a bit of shadows going down here there would be a little highlight here was so I'm keeping that one here uh, there might be some shadowing I'm gonna pick up this color now and not go so extreme there might be some shadowing around here and down to the the head area here let's pick up this darker one put it in like that and then um, there'd be some on the flat of her head going up to here let's get this darker color apply it and then of course the highlighted area would be here I guess of course because in my head I'm thinking the light source is coming from here so the highlight would be here let's pick up some of this highlighted color since I just basically tanked over my entire um, regular bright color uh, we'd have some highlight here and we'll have a highlight down here and some shadow here that'll be a little bit of a tricky thing we'll have to take away the sketch and we might have to do reshaping there I knew that would be messy but if you take away the sketch ignoring this bottom part here you can kind of see the face is starting to take its shape you can tell that's supposed to be a nose right here you might be starting to see the eyes shaping here and you can definitely see the jawline here I'm gonna turn my sketch layer down it was at 55 I'm gonna turn it down to maybe 20 something here and let's get this eye finished up here just the final little shadows. I'm gonna do a corner of the eye will have be in somewhat of shadow here. The eyebrow itself, I'm gonna just put some shadows where they'll be for now. <laughs> and there'll be a little bit of a highlight above them and below them, <laughs> but not too noticeably. Since we had this color, I think we're gonna have a little bit of like, that's where a tiny bit of her bone structure is higher than the rest. So that pushes her skin up and catches a little bit of a highlight there. And then we'll put this one over here. Yeah, and then uh, usually there's a little bit of a dark darkness on the bend of the nose there so I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow there and uh, maybe I'll just put like some white here to distinguish that's where that shadow is gonna be so I remember it from now on so now we have this mess to clean up I'm going to hide my sketch layer merge these layers so I have color copy here and that was just the base color here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my eraser tool I'm gonna turn my opacity back up to like 100 turn my hardness back up to what it was when I was putting that in and I'm just gonna clean up these lines so uh, anywhere that I see now that I've got the face blocked in a bit, I'm just going to go through and pick up colors that are kind of similar to what's around them. This is such a beginning stage that it does not matter. So uh, it's very hard to see here. Maybe I should add the line under the sketch here. Uh, let's pick up this white and we're going to add the white here to 
to distinguish that's the bottom of the nose just to help us out of it. And then this uh, area here would be the cheek. So I'm gonna place it out like that. Uh, her lips would be about here. And then this one would go down. We've sort of pinned that in. So I'm gonna color block those in a bit. Uh, I guess that's the bottom of her lip here. I guess I can turn my sketch back on <laughs> and get this a little bit more in how I first envisioned it. So let's block in this color here like this and then take the sketch away and form it into more <laughs> of a, a better shape. And then this is actually gonna come out behind it. Uh, I'm gonna do that trick again where I make a layer underneath it. Go underneath, there you go. And then put this here so I can get that curve without struggling too much. And this will come out of it. And I want this to come in and be a little bit erased. So merge those layers and erase this and just kind of work on this shape until I'm happy with this chin a little bit better. And I think I've changed my mind too on this. I'm gonna have the, the collar come out like that and this uh, shoulder is gonna be back. I think that looks a little bit more natural with the shape that I've put her in. So I'll just plonk that in like that. <laughs> this one will come up a little bit more around her neck too. Uh, we can go down, I'm gonna erase a little bit of this. And there, something like that. I'm gonna make another clipping mask. So turning it back down to that 20%. We've got our face shape, tweak this a little bit. I think that should go in and this should come out like this. And I'll just do that over the hair layer there. <laughs> and get that in like that. And we'll do a little tweak there to make sure that's more smooth and even. So now that we have this a little bit more shaped out, I'm gonna add this chateau. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn my hardness down because it was at 65 and I want it to be at 20. And I'm gonna add that shadow. So there'll be like a shadow under her chin here that will be kind of going in like that. And then there'll be some light catching here under the area here and then going over like that. So we'll put it in there. And like I said, that's the sunken area. This is the light. Uh, we can blend these in later so they're not so blocky in shape. Maybe I catch a little light up at the temple area there too. So let's add her hair layer so we can finally get those eyebrows in. And we'll be pretty much blocked in color-wise then after that. So I'm just gonna grab this color again. I can put my sketch up uh, to remind me how I wanted to shape those eyebrows. And I just kind of pick up my pen so it's not like one <laughs> uh, continuous line, just dot them in like that. I'll do the same thing over here and we'll come back and touch those up a little bit more. But while we're on the hair layer, we might as well unblock in a little bit what we're thinking. So this will be the part. We're going to have the, some dark areas here. I'm going to place them in like this, just kind of smudge the color in. And then it'll be very dark where it's meeting up with the bun because it's kind of being tucked into a shadow there. The bun itself, this will be the outer curve. So I'm going to add a shadow in the inner area here. Let's go ahead and pick up a brighter color while we're at it. Turn our brush size down and start tacking in where we want the highlights. So I'm going to have a highlight there, a little bit of a highlight catching where it's at the part here and at the edge there, and then a highlight on the bun over here. And then this side will be very dark. And I'm just going to carefully place that in a little bit here and then this we can put some more dark go back to this one have those highlight areas here maybe make that a little bit brighter and they'll go down like that some darkness here and some on the other side okay so then i'm gonna make sure i'm back on my color copy and just do the final shadows of her dress here i'm not actually gonna use black i'm gonna go to that yellow yeah i picked some kind of like dirty yellow color here for the shadow areas under her collar might have some shadows this area where i possibly put some wrinkles might have some trace her collar for now and a little bit in here back here would have some and over here as the lights come in from this way i might add a few dark ones here just to distinguish where the cutoff of that is and the cutoff here. I'll come in later and, and do like, you know, highlights like that and highlights back here. So the very last thing I'm gonna do before I get rid of my sketch layer, I'm gonna blow this up maybe two ticks and I'm just gonna place in her eyes a little bit better before we move into doing the detailing shadows. So uh, let's pick a nice brown. It's not quite super saturated, not quite in the gray area. And then we're gonna paint in the shape of her eye. So that's that top line and then it'll come down a bit uh, at the point <laughs> at the tear duct area uh, over here it'll sweep over like so and then over here we'll have it go up there'll be a crease above here and in between i'll pick that lighter color up uh, and then the bottom area of the eye would come down and over like that there'll be a little bit of a highlight here and i'll just kind of sink it in there and get this <laughs> area shaded this area would be bright and then we're going to pick a nice brownish color for her eyes make it kind of dark just 
pop it in. I know I'm at 19% right now, but I'm just gonna pop it in a couple times, get it on each end here. So there we go. We have that like that. We're gonna have a lower lid that meets up to her eye level a little bit better. All right, so I think I'm going to just get rid of the sketch now. Oh, one more thing I wanna do. Uh, let's take a nice dark brown and then establish where that nostril is gonna be because I don't wanna lose that in the future. We get that here, a little bit more rounded off at this end and then under the nose here. Have a bit of a nostril shadow and technically we'll have some brightness down here and over here we can just sort of tack them in and put this white in to distinguish where the nose was compared to the background thing. But now I'm just gonna add a little shading back here to distinguish that top of her lip like that and the shading like that. Might have to tweak it a little bit and then this over here looks a little bit strange because I've lost that corner mouth shape. <laughs> so we want to get that in a bit like that. Her lips might be a little bit too big. We'll have to see about working them a bit smaller because she doesn't have like super full silicone <laughs> lips. And then we'll get the seam of her mouth. Uh, let's make this darker. It'll be like a line that goes just a little tiny peaked line here and then it goes down a little bit here and then it goes up in a peak. So let's take away the sketch. And I think we can probably do without the sketch layer from now. Now on. So now would be a good time, I think, to go over adjustments. I have this color layer copy, and I'm gonna hit Command E to merge it. And if you don't know how to merge it, it's in Layer Merge Down, and you can see the little E Command or Control E. And then I'm gonna do the same thing where I duplicate, to create a clipping mask, and I'm going to make an adjustment. And I'm gonna move this eye this way a little bit because it's not quite lined up, I don't think. So I'm going to select the area that I want to manipulate, and then I'm gonna right-click with the selection tool tool with the selection tool and go to the option of feather which is right here uh, feather 15 pixels is good and then I'm gonna click command T for transforming it or you can just move it out of it the reason why you feather it is you can see there's not such hard lines so when you move it there's not gonna be that hard edge to it there so yeah let's move this around until it looks a little bit more right and that's probably good so where was it before there yeah I guess I've moved it out a little bit just until it looks right so now before you do anything else you're going to want to merge these back and create another clipping mask. That layer, even though it looks pretty invisible right now, will show up. So I'm gonna merge down, make another clipping mask. Yeah, that looks good. Before I go into fine shadows, is I'm gonna redefine her hairline. I purposely kept it a very straight line here, but we're actually gonna start bringing it down now. So I'm on the hair la layer. <laughs> I've selected that one. I've picked up just this generic uh, brown color. And I'm gonna start kind of wisping some hair areas in, and this is where her finer hairs will be in the future. And I might even bring this whole thing down a bit. Maybe I'll pick this darker brown and get this kind of more established so it's coming down a little bit further. I think it'll look a little bit better if it's bigger. So if I bring that down, I'll have to kind of smear in some highlights there. We'll work in some shadowy areas as well so it doesn't look totally weird. And uh, we never really darkened this well. So let's pick up some of these darker colors around the area and get that kind of established as being a darker area. Maybe we can bring this up a little bit. I think these buns are just huge. <laughs> so maybe bring them up just a little bit and then go back over here and keep working on that like hairline area where there's, it's just the illusion with this, uh, I'm picking up my brush and moving it around, but it's an illusion that there's some fuzzy hair areas <laughs> where this uh, is coming down and I want to bring this down maybe another little bit like that. And this is area, this area here is where like, you know, you have your fuzzy hair. And I think originally I had like a curl. Yeah. So I'm going to have just like a little curl here. Here, I'll establish it here yeah, in that shape like that. We've got her shape pretty good, I think. Let's flip the canvas and see if anything sticks out to us. You see anything? <laughs> Nothing jumps out at me. These recordings, I see it later when I'm editing and I'm like, you fool. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think we'll go with it. All right, so let's do some more detailed shading. I think we should make a texture brush. So I'm gonna open up a new file. I'll do this with you. New document. Uh, I'm gonna make it inches, one inch by one inch and a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Create. Okay, I'm gonna choose the Eclipse tool over here. I'm gonna make a circle and I'm gonna kind of wiggle it around until I get these guidelines to make sure it's nice and centered there. And then I'm gonna fill that circle, fill path uh, on normal mode. Foreground color, normal mode, I have black for my foreground and we'll feather the radius maybe one pixel so it doesn't have an extremely hard edge. And then I'm going to take white. <laughs> 
<laughs> with this, I guess we're still on 19. Uh, let's bump this up to almost 100. And then let's just kind of, uh, yeah, let's just make kind of a, a textured, almost like it was like a painted brush. I have one of these already. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I think it'll look nice like that. And then maybe I'm going to take some big things around the edge here, add a few like dots. <laughs> so there's some imperfections going on here. Okay. And then now where those dots are, I'm going to take black and crease through them. My dog is outside my door barking. I wonder if he actually needs to go out or he just senses that I'm recording. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we got kind of this interesting texture here. Uh, I'm gonna go up to edit, and I know edit is just a little bit cropped out where my screen recording is, uh, but there's edit at the top, and then I'm gonna go to divine, divine, <laughs> define brush preset, and uh, we'll just call this texture brush. I don't know, I have no idea. Mystery number, <laughs> mystery number, because I have no idea what number it is, but there we go. It's it's automatically brush. Switch back to your page your thing and it's not quite ready yet but you can see there's kind of a textured mist <laughs> this brush so now i'm going to open up my brush settings i have this little shortcut thing here if you want if you can't find yours go to window and <laughs> again i'm sorry that's cut out window and then you go to brush i guess it's f5 uh, automatically for at least for my setup so you know if I click it it'll get rid of the brush and if it wasn't there and then I click it and then there it is and we want to do a couple tweaks so for one I want the spacing just a little bit till I start seeing just barely seen in between these. I don't want to see like full circles. So my spacing is going to be at 33%. I'm also going to change the size jitter and then under angle jitter here in shape dynamics, uh, I'm going to go to direction and this will keep the direction you're going. Like see how it moves with the direction I am. That's what I want. Then we want pen pressure so we can have like the different sizes. All right. So we have that and I guess my dog is, he's barking at the door. <laughs> So I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> did you miss me? Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, my dog's a liar. He did nothing, but anyways. Okay. So we have this texture brush now. I'm going to take this brush um, and just sort of, I'm on 22 again and just sort of kind of where these areas where we've blocked in some textures, I'm just going to pick them up and lay them down and give some, some initial texture. We'll end up blending it in. So don't worry if it looks a little bit too extreme in its <laughs> beginning stages. I'm just just gonna pick some colors up like here I picked up this color laid it down I thought that's too too dark so then I picked up this color hit command Z to get rid of that final thing and then place down a little bit more with that so uh, yeah so I'm just gonna kind of pick up down this color this will have a little bit of white here a little bit of dark here you can see it's creating a little bit of texture and that's all we want so uh, let's go up here add some texture up here a little bit counter with the white uh, and do a little bit on her nose her entire nose on this side will uh, eventually get a darker pass so I don't want to just do it now <laughs> like that with the brush and we'll clean that up later uh yeah so yeah just kind of keep putting in some colors I don't know how many times <laughs> I can say it the same way but there we go just add a little bit of highlight there and down here as well let's add a little bit of texture here and this is just a very uh quickie <laughs> texture thing you could bake a better brush you could tweak those settings a little bit more I might add a little bit of scattering <laughs> next time but for now this looks good yeah it's not just so airbrushed now I'm gonna do a few little a little bit more uh I can skip the video ahead <laughs> if this is getting annoying but maybe I'm almost done let me see here uh, a little bit over here and a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here a little bit here and a little bit here uh that should be a song okay and then a little bit down here this actually should be very dark here where it's meeting into the thing so let's throw some shade in there all right that looks good i think so uh let's get a little bit of texture up here too uh -huh. there we go Okay, I won't, <laughs> I won't put you through that uh, anymore. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go back to my smooth round brush. So up to the top, default is this one, but I'm gonna turn my hard disk down to maybe 19 or whatever. And uh, yeah, everything's back to normal. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I hit command bracket instead of command plus, And now you know what happens. It moves the layer behind the other one. Okay, so now you can go in if you want and work this out so it's not such a mess, but to still keep some of the texture 
texture. You can go back in if you work too much of the texture out and add some more later. But for what we're going to do is start to sort of hyper detail her. Is hyper detail? It's not really hyper detail. <laughs> we're going to detail her. I'm going to merge these layers. I'm going to hit command E and I just like refresh them every once in a while. Maybe it's like a, a tick. <laughs> and um, let's go over some of what I've done because I'm not sure I've talked about it as I put it in but I'm not sure if I conveyed it perfectly some to some of it I just go through really fast so there's shadow here and then there's a highlight where the cheek is so that would be here and the shadow kind of goes in and there's a little shadow under the lip here but a highlight going up to here and then this is obviously <laughs> a shadowed area here uh, and I might bring this out a little bit I'll use the the um, uh, liquify tool if I can think in a second here but yeah so there'd be a shadow here defining her chin and if it looks uh like I might have put that in a little bit too dark so we can go back in with a similar color and just whoop, ease that out a bit it's not so dark coming down here be a bit of a shadow and it'd be a thicker area there so uh maybe wouldn't be quite so shadowed at the edge here it's sticking out just a touch and I'm definitely gonna have to fix this with the liquify but let's add a few more shadows in since that was kind of my my plan I jump all over the place when I'm doing this normally and it might seem like I'm doing that a bit here but I am trying to kind of stick with like let's do this now and then not jump around too much so shadow under her nose area here and down here it would be the very darkest at the crease of her nose so we can I put a little bit of black and then I'm picking that black color up and I'm going to reestablish it I'm going to actually put a little, little tiny drop of pure black you want to be careful how much black you use when highlighting and shading because it can kind of affect <laughs> the the skin tone and stuff after a while it starts looking weird there's the highlight here it kind of goes over the nose a uh, little bit here it's, it's kind of like when light bends on a round object um, so it ends up under the nose bit here this part of the nose I'm going to pick up this color here uh, this part of the nose will have a bit of a shadow under it so something like that and then this upper part we're going to get rid of that here we'll have the highlight and I'm going to darken this area here to bring out the highlight of the nose for so this cheek even though it's getting light on it we can put a little bit light on the very um, end of it. Let's pick up this color here and establish that, that is getting some light on it uh, coming in maybe under the eye there um, but then this part here would be going out like that. I might have to move her nose a little bit in uh, or maybe I'll just straighten this out a little bit more to pronounce it. Uh, like I said this needs another pass of the shadow. I'm gonna make sure this is a little bit more saturated so that we're not getting very dull colors. So I'm just gonna take a, um, the brush and just carefully place like an added layer here and then I'm gonna put a little bit darker in the corner of the eye and a little bit darker here. I also want to put a little bit more of a shadow here in this dip of her cheek and <laughs> we'll work it in a bit. It's not totally extreme like that. And uh, going down to her jawline here, let's uh, uh, we'll bring it up a little bit. So something like this. I know we've gotten rid of all that texture we just put in, but that's okay. It'll go up here and it'll almost be meeting with the one under her eye. So they'll just be a little bit here. So I want to bring this up a little bit more and we're just going to kind of blend this in because right now hard to see maybe especially on YouTube but this tone and this tone don't match so <laughs> we're just kind of trying to get everything a little bit more blended in uh, with without it being airbrushed looking so not totally um yeah so uh put a little bit of highlight here going down in this area and then you know it looks a little bit like too much of a sharp edge there and I'll kind of work it in and this is going to affect the like the shape of your cheek so like if you might have round cheeks they would be a little bit more highlighted in that way but if you have more, I don't know there's a little bit of sinking in on any cheek even if you're uh you have very big round cheeks <laughs> so we want to get that uh, shadow uh, established and I'm just kind of working it until it looks about right for me I might go back in um, there's recent brushes here <laughs> I might just go back in real quick with this brush since I lost all that texture pick up this color finish up with this just making that a little bit smoother Hello, future Miss Art Garden here. I'm sorry to say a little bit of this video was corrupted, so uh, the last 45 seconds or so were just like a black screen. <laughs> but all I did was outline the eyes a little bit more, add a little bit of highlight in the corners, and add a little bit of a highlight above each eye for the lid. So, sorry for the interruption, but let's keep going. Let's take a black, let's move it down to like 12%. Take the hardness arbor 
our brush all the way to zero and then just carefully like in a curved line establish somewhat of a shadow maybe we'll go over a couple times with the black until we're happy with that um, shadow at the corner of her eye and then this one too would have a bit of a shadow uh, and then over here this eye part a little bit of a shadow there okay and before we're done we'll go over with the shadow again okay so that's a little bit more detailing on her eye starting to take shape a little bit before i go further i want to fix this uh, i talked about fixing this with the liquify <laughs> i think it's time i think it's time so i'm going to hit command e and merge these and if you liquify this upper layer as a mask um you know you, you'll like move this part out or something it won't show up if it's pigment that's been moved outside of the mask so it's always good when you do this to merge them and if you're worried you can just create another layer as your backup layer and hide it so we're going into liquify i'm gonna blow this up while i'm here before i do that i'm going to reshape this eye i kind of lost that pinched there's always kind of a pinched in look at the corners of the eyes i lost that a bit with my tweaking so i'll bring it in uh even a little bit more maybe like that there we go that's more of the shape i want now we have to fix her mouth i picked a very different mouth angle. I thought it would be a fun challenge. But hopefully you guys aren't mad at me if you're trying to follow along. So I'm going to bring this bottom lip out a little bit and just kind of tweak. I always almost say twerk. Why is that? What have you done to me, Miley Cyrus? <laughs> kind of tweak this until it's more of the shape we want. And this, for instance, goes in a little bit too much. I want this to go come out like right under the lip, so I like that part of it. But then the rest of this should come out a little bit. I might have to take a razor tool and tweak this. I'm going to bring that chin. Right now it's a little bit too pointy. A little bit. And then bring this whole jawline up a bit so that it matches more with the, the angle of that chin. And maybe I'll make this a little bit more rounded uh, so you can really see the shape of that jaw. Oh, and then I wanted to, yeah, I think I had this down a little too far. I didn't like quite how much like that was going in. And maybe we'll even bring the nose down a touch like that. All right, let's take a look at those changes. So that's the new one. Let's zoom it out. That was before and that's after. Before and after. I think that's good. I'm happy with all those changes, so we're gonna stick with that. Uh, the only little thing I don't like is how much her, this side of her mouth. So I'll do one last little quick change and then we'll move on. <laughs> so just down a little bit more like that. Let's color in these lips a bit and it'll help uh, distinguish what they look like a little bit better. So we have a good, uh, I'm gonna pick black and mark it in there and then select that black. We have a good kind of baseline for the seam of the mouth. It goes down like that. We'll have to add some shadows in here, um, like this area where it kind of, there's a crease to the mouth, curves in a bit, and maybe even a little tiny crease over here. We'll just basically blend out to establish that she has that line there. I think I'm making her a little more frowny than I mean to. Uh, and then we'll take this highlight. There's always kind of a highlight around the lips where they kind of stick up a bit more and maybe work this shadow so it goes down a little bit more properly like that and bring this part in a bit that's like that uh, i'll fix that with the liquify real quick i think it's good to just go in and i'm looking unhappy and stuff we don't want that so that was before and that's after and let's keep working on our lips okay so we have this kind of orange color i want to add a little bit of redness to it so i'm going to pick a red and uh let's make a clipping mask i think we're about done with the liquify so i'm going to do that so i can mark out of here without being too worried. So I'm going to add this red in, especially at the bottom area of her bottom lip and a little bit at the top. Top lip typically has a uh, darker shading than the bottom one because, uh, you know, light typically is coming from the top. And so this area here where I'm marking in has a lot more shadow. So let's get that kind of established. I'm going to go back in with the black as I paint over it and keep getting some more seam area there. Right here, there's going to be a highlight of the lips. So uh, let's take this nice little pinkish shaded color and just kind of block that in where it is. So like over like that. All right, I'm going to go down to this bottom layer and shave a little bit off this bottom lip because I think it's looking a little bit too pouty. <laughs> so yeah, just a little bit off. And while I'm here, I'm going to fix this um, that was not smoothed out. I'll go back to that top of the clipping mask and then we're gonna put uh, a little bit of a shadow under the lip here, but we don't want it to be too pronounced where it's meeting up there. And uh, this is kind of blurry, so I'm gonna work it in a little bit crisper like that. There is a, a shadow where you're between your, I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of a dip, a valley between your bottom of your lip. So, I mean, your top lip and your bottom of your nose. So we're gonna have this kind of shadow. It's darkest up under the nose and then it kind of goes, disappears here. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a highlight 
where it peaks up here and then this one over here x um details in the <laughs> where that lip is we can even take a little bit of white and really push that there uh the i'm gonna go back to this bottom masking layer while i'm up here and reshape that just a bit maybe i took a little too much off of it uh by the way i, well, I think for this little finer detail i'm going to turn it all the way to soft okay so there we go and then i'm going to go up to this layer and add just a touch of highlight where this cheek is and ideally i want these lines to match up so i might have to go in to this bottom layer and work a little bit of a line uh down like this okay and then we can take a, a highlighted color and work that the very tip of the cheek there and the tip of this here only other thing i want to do while i'm here just kind of working on shaping is bring this valley in a little bit more distinct so it looks a little bit more like it's being cut off there <laughs> i'm also going to add a little highlight here i'm sorry if i'm jumping around so much like i said it's kind of a, a process thing we'll go back under here work this shadow in a bit here like i said there might be a little tiny bit of one here we're gonna put the implication of being in it looks like she's got a little tiny crease there and I think that's overall pretty good. Let's add a little bit of highlight under this area here where it kind of um, meets the, the, the chin uh, protruding chin area and we'll do that. Okay and then a little bit maybe on the, the chin here. A small uh, bit of highlight to kind of really pronounce it and then you can kind of blend it in so it's a little bit of a finer line. That just kind of brings out that jawline a little bit more. And then let's go back to the eyes and bring in a shadow here and <laughs> bring it down here very dark area let's in fact make it even darker so yeah the shadow here and a little bit here where it's sticking out a little bit under here okay and then maybe pick up this color that's a little bit lighter when we put it down and put it there and then we're gonna work this highlight back just a touch I don't want to shape it too wrong. Bring this in a little bit so we see that it's more of a curve there and there. And then maybe even a little bit of white down here. Really give that a shine. <laughs> Bring this shadow here. We're just make, coming up with very finishing details now for the skin shadows. Uh, maybe work this in here. We have this kind of a mess down here. I'm not, I'm not too bothered. There's like some areas that you can have your uh, piece be very messy, uh, like skin underneath or something. And it just sort of highlights the um, the part of the face where you're supposed to kind of look more i think at least in my opinion okay so let's add a little bit more darker shadow down that area i'm going to come up here i'm going to pick this highlight that i've just kind of left over from the eye here i'll work a little bit more of a cheekbone in there like that and maybe a little bit down here where you would see a little bit more of it and a little bit up there so let's blow it up a little bit more i'm going to save it and let's detail out these eyes a bit more so first of all uh, i'm going to reestablish. i had this pretty nicely highlighted and it's got a little bit lost in the chaos and i'm also going to bring this whole line down a little bit give her eye a little bit better shape so it's like that and a little bit under here in this shape okay so let's do her eyes now so i'm going to pick a nice rich brown like this color i suppose and uh i'm just going to kind of work in the colors i'm on 12 percent. i'm going to turn it up to 20 between 20 and 25 mine ended up on 23 i don't have like an exact control when i'm using this stylus so i'm going to reshape that so it's a little bit more incongruent that's not the word <laughs> <laughs> matching with that eye here so we'll have that the irises have a little bit of a darker area here i'm going to be very careful to lay it out because i don't want it to look pure black so i'm going to kind of pick up this color and then put it over here as well and then the, over here we'll give that the same thing a little bit of black like that and maybe tweak this so you don't really see it much from this angle and then we're gonna give her some pupils so just go to pure black and we're just gonna draw in some circles we don't want them to be too big so we'll do that I'm gonna blow this out real quick and make sure those pupils match they look like they match to me um, this eye probably needs to be brought let's let's go ahead and fix that before we do any more detailing this eye over here needs to be uh, a little bit more in matching with this one I'm actually gonna shrink this one down a bit so I don't know why I keep picking on the far eye uh, I'm going to take this and squeeze it up and then move this corner in a bit and move this in a bit like so it's sitting a little bit more like that just to match them up a bit we can open this one up just a tiny bit maybe it's uh getting a little bit uh too shut so let's see as before that's after see how they match sizes a little bit better at least in my opinion okay i'm gonna take this uh a little bit of highlight here and straighten this highlight out here <laughs> and then i'm going to go back to the iris okay so i'm gonna take let's do the old overlay trick so i'm gonna go to mode here where my brushes settings are <laughs> at the top i'm gonna overlay and we'll pick a nice 
nice kind of yellow orange color like this and we're just gonna dot it around the irises maybe that's not quite bright enough let's pick a little bit brighter one uh dot it around the irises and that'll give it kind of this shine right and then we're gonna go to color dodge and just streak in a few little dots for the eye there like that and then we'll go back to normal let's shape in her eyelashes so she has a few going up like that i'm gonna turn my brush way down then get a few streaks and we're just on the black but uh we're on the almost black i've picked you know some color that was <laughs> close to black but i don't want it to be perfectly black and i might even take some of this brown and um, reshape that down a bit so it's not quite so black <laughs> and we'll do the same over here uh get a few eyelash highlights here like that we're gonna take our black make sure we're on zero hardness we are uh, and then go under that there and there to add a little bit of shading under her eye maybe a little bit in the corner here and a little bit over here okay now we're gonna go to white we're gonna turn our opacity up a bit maybe like 50 that's 47 for me turn my hardness up a bit to like 30 and I'm going to just add a little tiny bit of white here and then a matching kind of shape here and maybe a little bit uh, a little tiny dot under there and under there and that gives her just a little bit of light in the eye <laughs> and then we can turn our opacity back down to what it was and give a just a very thin coating of white uh, around the tear area and that gives it a little bit of a, a wet look <laughs> maybe uh, not quite so much a little too high on that side I think I'll just go back and add it right there and then do you remember the color dodge layer I'm gonna go there we're gonna turn ours down to maybe like 11 and we're gonna blast in a little bit of a highlight like that and like that just give her eyes a little bit more light I think that's pretty good I'm gonna go uh, correct a little thing here where I think her eye shape <laughs> is a bit off it's coming up too much there so I'm just gonna work work Put it down like that <laughs> before and after okay while we're on color dodge let's add a little bit to her lips i think color dodge makes a nice kind of highlight let's add a little bit of texture there maybe add a little tiny bit here up here give her a little bit of a shine uh let's fix her hair and her robe and we'll be just about done i'm gonna go up to the hair layer uh, i'm gonna turn my opacity back up to like 25 or whatever and i'm gonna start what what is my hardness at 30 <laughs> okay i'm gonna start uh working in the shadows and highlights so over here where the bun area is gonna be there's gonna be some dark shadows maybe not i'm gonna turn my opacity on a little bit uh so I'm gonna kind of work those in. I put those streaky lines up and then I just sort of blend them in until they start taking more of a hair shape. <laughs> and you can go in and do a little bit better detailing than this and maybe take this high color and just streak it back a bit so I don't get lose like all of those streakiness. And then take the black and, and where those tapers are. And uh, yeah, and then we'll do the same thing over here. We have the part of her hair like this, like this. <laughs> And we're just going to kind of work in uh, the streakiness. So it's going to be dark around the part. And then it'll just kind of go into that area there. And make it nice and streaky. And that's starting to look a little bit more like the shape we want. Let's get a highlight color in. Make our brush even smaller. We'll work it in a little bit where we've already got some highlights. Uh, give it just sort of a line <laughs> color variation. Um, like so. A little bit up here too. And then we do the same thing we're doing, we've are doing. we been doing where we pick up the colors surrounding it then. And we sort of work in the edges. So I'm not going over all the lines here. Just kind of the back edge area. Until it sort of looks like it's more like strands that are being interrupted by other strands. <laughs> rather than splotches of color okay so that's you know you could work on that a little bit more but uh i'm not going to go into like super detailing that okay so that looks okay for that area uh let's just kind of smooth that last little bit in and then we'll do the same thing over here uh i think we're gonna have it so it's implied that there's a bun here let me get pick up this color so i can show you a little better let me just get a highlight so the bun is going here and then there's a little bit coming here being tucked under a shadowed area here and here so this is like a v shape that we're gonna be getting and then this would be sort of a v shape as well if that makes sense and then this area would be going up and being dark here too um so let's pick up some of these colors get about the same coloring it doesn't have to be perfect and start i think the twist would be like this doesn't that make sense <laughs> so i'm gonna put some some twisty areas here maybe that 
would switch uh, direction here. So go like that and that. That looks about right to me. So now I'm just going to work that in. So I'm going to work uh, some of the shadows coming in and erupting those, interrupting those, uh, and then bring those back over the shadows a little bit just until we kind of blend in a nice variation coloring, like maybe a little bit big there and a little bit bigger here. And then we'll go back in, pick a brighter color and just work in a few more like brighter highlights in certain areas like that just something like that and then we'd go back in with the darker ones and then especially at the tapered ends where they look a little unnatural we'll go in and maybe take some black even and really get uh, certain areas fixed <laughs> and then go over those with just a touch of color like there's the major shadow area but you can see the strands going in okay something like that will work uh, let's work on this bit of hair over here where we have uh, the strands the individual strands we're gonna make these brush shapes smaller and then just sort of paint in um, like where strands might be going and tucking in here something like that and then we'll carefully do some strands down here at the hairline I didn't I just said carefully <laughs> then I butcherly put them in <laughs> it's okay uh, then take like a highlight color uh, even brighter highlight I think and work that in over that shadowy area that we just did maybe even a brighter color like this and get a smaller brush tweak that a little bit and this one too and we can add a few of these little like light strands. Let's make our brush really small and add a few of them and make a, even like the dark ones too, like that. It's like little stray hairs that are getting away, uh, something like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna actually blow this up and add a little bit of darkness here and up here and just kind of blend in those areas like that, okay? And then this uh, side over here will be a lot lighter, uh, a, lot, a little bit more blurry even possibly since it's away from the camera. We'll just do a little bit of highlighting here. We'll just kind of leave it. I don't want to like drag this out too long because I know some people are like get to the point <laughs> but something like that and then you could detail it in like we did where you take the lighter color the smaller brush and work those little highlights in like that and then I'm gonna go back down to this and I don't think I'll do much with her her dress I'm I'm okay <laughs> with it looking kind of messy and just sort of there shaped in barely shaped in so we'll just uh, add a few like possibly where the highlight shadow areas might be just to kind of give this thing a little bit of shape and then add uh, maybe like a little bit of highlighting like we started to do earlier like that and then maybe even add like a, a dip of that and a little bit of a highlight so it creates a bit of a shadow I mean a wrinkle there we go and then bring that there we might go in with a brush there's a little few little tweaky things we could do uh, with our eraser, I'm sorry. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. This layer. <laughs> so that they smooth out a bit so that they're not so like messy or whatever. <laughs> Okay, I think that's pretty good in general. I'm gonna take this blur tool and see where I've gone over this since I'm on this bottom layer. I'm at strength 50%. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of blur this a little bit because that's the one spot in the painting that isn't kind of blurred. I'm gonna give that a, a little bit of a work over. You could even take the smudge tool if you're very careful and just kind of very carefully smudge that edge. I don't really want to do much of that. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit better. Uh, if you want to now, what you could do for your finishing touches, maybe go in, let's just take multiply with a very small amount and I'll show you what I mean. You go in and add, uh, let's let's pick up a brown so this doesn't look terrible. Add a little bit more shading on like one side of the face. Distinguish that this one is the one in the shadows. I'm just kind of bluntly putting this in. Um, and uh, you can also go to overlay and pick up some uh, like reds maybe and add a little color to her nose and maybe up here a little bit to her cheek like she's wearing a touch of makeup. A little bit on that chin maybe. A little bit up here on her forehead. Give her a little bit of color and you can go to color dodge if you want. Make sure your thing is at your hardness is at zero. And you can add like a little Hello, Miss Arkin from the future here again. So this is the second part where the video was corrupted. I think it was like the last three minutes. I didn't do very much after this. So sorry about the abrupt ending, but I'm here to send you off. So thank you everyone for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for who you want me to do a let's paint of in the future, let me know also. Take care, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.